Hey, what's up guys? This is John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography coming at you again with another video. Heading out in the morning and what's nice, it's not the early morning, it's a little bit later so I didn't have to quite get up at the crazy hour that I usually do, even though I did. And gonna go do some birding this morning, going back to a usual spot. And what I'm finding out is that as we're leaving the summer weather pattern and heading into the fall pattern, so we've, we've been in fall for a couple weeks now, the birding activity seems to have picked up and so I'm really excited about the chances for today, so stay tuned. first walk in there's this main area in the first pond that you encounter and there's an island in the middle and typically you'll see a lot of the great blue herrings that tend to nest and roost you know in the upper upper parts of the island and then you'll have egrets and the smaller birds down near the shoreline but I think they like it in that island because it's protected and you know they're separated from the walking path so they don't have to have human inter interaction if they don't want to. walking path that leads along this first area um, is kind of hit and miss. Usually I'm not quite in tune with my shooting so I, I tend to miss shots if I do see them here because I'm still getting warmed up. But you come around this first turn and sometimes you might find a finch inside this little box here and then sometimes you might catch uh, some of the water birds just around the corner there's a little little cove that they tend to forage but if they see you they take off back area back here um, although it's not as foresty as you want you know because there's more man-made structures and water pumps and stuff I, I tend to find some birds hang out back here so I found a few turns hanging out and the Phoebes like to just rest on the handrail back here so you never know what you're gonna find uh, sometimes there's hummingbirds but this time of year I don't see as many hummingbirds as I did during the summertime So it's along this back area of the pond, uh, it's a long stretch, it's a long trail that kind of goes along two of the ponds. What I like about it is there's some chaparral areas where you're completely covered by vegetation and then there's just a lot of leafy trees on one side. And so sometimes you'll catch the birds um, as they're foraging and what I notice is that, is that they, they tend to forage in groups and they'll move from tree to tree so you, you kind of have to move with them because they'll leave you behind if you stay in the same spot for too long and if you're you know if you don't move too much and you don't make any aggressive movements towards them they'll they'll do their thing while you do your thing so it's just a matter of just not startling them not like i harassed those warblers enough they were you know pretty much minding their own business trying to get breakfast for this morning so I followed him for a few minutes. I think I got some shots of him. We'll see later, but I don't want to disturb him too much because they have to survive. There's this, I don't know if you'd call it an isthmus, but just a strip, strip of land that goes between the two ponds. It goes between the bone pond and the Snoopy ponds. You kind of have to have your head on a swivel in this part because on one side, you will have the pond itself. And so I have found egrets that tend to hang in the shore Greaves and ducks that you know that are close to the shoreline, and they'll of course move away if they see you coming. But and then on the other side, you might find some birds of prey that tend to go in and out of these taller trees. All right, well, back in the car, and you never know what kind of birds you're going to see on any given day. So today, it seemed like the warblers were the ones that I saw the most, which is what I wanted. So that was pretty cool. Um, I encountered a few like right off the bat, and. The first couple, I remember I was really close. So I just kind of lucked upon them where they were within the range that I wanted. I'm not gonna have to crop too much. It'll just be a matter of seeing if they're in focus or not. I think I got some good shots of some of the water birds. They seem to come closer to the shore or they just didn't notice me. So maybe my stealthing um, skills were, real, were better today. Who knows? But I thought today was a good day. I'm gonna go home and edit and see how these turn out. You don't have to wait for my editing to finish. You get to see these pictures right here, right now. Thanks for watching. This is John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography. Until the next video.